Welcome to the Franklin Legacy Open House. Please know this home is still under construction. The Legacy exterior includes a stone wainscot, full stone on the den flex area, and full stone on the side load garage bump out. This siding color is midnight blue and a more black certainty roof color. The front of the den flex room has a cantilevered bump out with two mold windows. The front door and side lights were changed to a wood grain option stained in Minwax Walnut. You'll see the traditional window grid patterns throughout with the arched brick detail above the garage window. This is a beautiful home. This homeowner chose to angle the garage and also added a third bay. The total garage space is 40 by 24. What a dream. And there was a service door added between the garage spaces. On a hot summer day, you will find some shade at the rear of this home. This homeowner added 17 by 17 covered patio, along with an 11 by 11 area behind the dinette. The sliding glass door was replaced with two mauled windows and they added a single hinged full glass door at the side of the dinette. Entering the home, you'll find this gorgeous open floor plan. These homeowners decided to replace the luxury vinyl flooring with laminate flooring they added some crown molding and replaced the wood-capped half wall at the basement stairs with round spindle. Please know the finished stairs to the basement are included in this Franklin floor plan. The homeowners chose nine foot ceilings, a knockdown texture ceiling. They chose the five and a quarter inch baseboard. They jammed and cased the windows and they chose the craftsman style three doors throughout the home. The trim is painted with Sherwin-Williams color extra white and the main living spaces are just beautiful in this home. The light fixtures that these homeowners chose bring it all together. The crown molding was extended through the den flex area as well as the laminate flooring. Cathedral ceilings were added to the great room along with the real wood barn beam at the cathedral ridge line stained in the smoked oak. Laminate flooring also replaces carpet in the great room and you'll see that the homeowners removed square drywall columns and angled the dropped false headers between the great room and foyer. The fireplace is a 42 inch direct vent fireplace centered on the great room wall. It's the Kenwood design surround with the mantle and absolute black granite with a flush hearth. You'll see cathedral ceilings extend through the kitchen with the same laminate flooring. We added a flush eat ledge to the island and the approximate depth of this island is now four feet deep. You'll see a beadboard panel backer below the eat ledge of the island with some decorative leg supporting eat ledge. 42 inch wall cabinets, there's crown molding added to the top of the cabinets and there is a deeper cabinet above the fridge space with support panels flanking. The style of this cabinetry is the Glen style and it's stained in the sarsaparilla at the island. The Glen style cabinetry is painted white at the perimeter. The granite countertops are chosen in the Luna Pearl here, and there's a Blanco Silagranite single bolt undermount sink and anthracite. In the dining room, these homeowners chose to replace the sliding glass door at the rear of the dining room wall with two windows and add a single door to the side of the wall. Nice choice for this fabulous outdoor space that they've also created.
entering the owner's bedroom, the laminate flooring replaces the included carpet. They added crown molding and the walls are painted in the light French gray by Sherwin Williams. The owner walk-in closet and the owner bath location swapped here. So now the owner walk-in closet is along the rear of the home where the walk-in, the bathroom is in the center. Um, there was one window included on the rear wall that was removed due to the closet relocation. The homeowner changed to a double vanity with additional drawers below. The included linen closet was replaced with a linen closet cabinet next to the vanity. The owner bathroom was changed to the luxury bath option. The garden tub with the off-center step and picture window above. You'll see a 48 inch shower with the clear glass swinging door on the side exterior wall between the tub and the closet. The secondary bedroom side of this home did not change other than the hallway was changed to the luxury vinyl flooring. In the bathroom, the added the crown molding to the top of the linen closet cabinet. The vanity cabinet is Sinclair style with the painted stone gray. The cultured marble countertops are a solid white with the included Weller Brusher nickel plumbing fixtures. These homeowners added a laundry sink and a cabinet next to the washer dryer hookup. They chose the laminate countertop in Brazilian gray with a Blanco single bowl stainless steel drop-in sink. Also was added as a 42 inch tall white cabinets above the washer dryer space with added crown molding. Garage to basement stairs were added for easy access from garage to the basement. In the owner's entry laundry room, the door was replaced with a three foot door, also to match the Craftsman 3 style. Entering the basement, these homeowners decided to finish an approximate 32 by 25 space for extra entertaining in the basement. They also added a kitchenette and a full bathroom. The kitchenette has the luxury vinyl flooring. You'll see a bar sink with a single bowl stainless steel drop-in sink. There's fridge space with cabinetry with a wine rack on front wall. The peninsula is approximately eight foot with the raised eight ledge and a pull-out trash can. The cabinetry is in Sinclair style stained sarsaparilla and the countertop chosen is the Mercury Vesta laminate. The added three quarter bath has the sarsaparilla stained vanity with the solid white cultured marble top. The stairs that were added from the garage directly into this unfinished portion of the basement with a three foot swinging door. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour of this beautiful home. Mm -hmm.